an elementary application of compliments. How do you subtract without the pain of borrowing? Subtraction is a simple operation. After all, children learn it in elementary school. However, long borrow chains make mental subtraction a bit on the tough side. Take, for example, this problem. Could you do it mentally without straining? Once you visually determine the need for borrowing, you could use this method instead. To subtract using complements, first calculate the complement of the second number, that is the subtrahend, using Nicolum. Add it to the first number, the minuin. This, of course, removes the need to borrow. If the answer you get has an extra one, it is positive, just drop the one. If it doesn't have an extra one, it is negative, and you need to take the complement of what you get. Each of these steps can and should be done mentally, and this gives you a lot of practice. Let's see the same problem as an example. We first replace the subtrahend, the second number, with its complement. This, of course, must be done mentally, and then you add it to the first number, that is the menu end. And there's an extra digit, a 1, which means the answer is positive, and you can just drop that extra digit to get the answer, which in this case is 2467. Each of these steps should be done mentally. Another example with slightly longer numbers. Since our method for complements is independent of the number of digits and each digit can be handled independently, this is easy enough. Replace the subtrahend with its complement, add it to the first number, that is the minuet. Once you see an extra digit on the left, that is a positive answer, and that extra one can just be dropped. What if the answer is expected to be negative? No worries, replace the second number with its complement as usual, add it to the first number, here we can see there is no extra digit, which means the answer is negative. So once again take the complement of the answer and add a negative sign. So we now have to take two complements. However, this is easy enough to do mentally since we have the Nikhilab Sutra. Slightly longer sequence of digits to subtract. We proceed as normal, taking the complement of the second number using Nikhilab, adding it to the first number. Once we note there's no extra digit on the left, we take the complement of the answer again. That a negative sign. 